What's going on, guys? Welcome to episode three of our Penn State Return to Primetime Dynasty. This is our week three game as we face the 2 0 Central Florida Knights as they come into Happy Valley for our home opener. Uh, so hopefully we can come away with a win against a very tough team as we look at their top players. Uh, their quarterback's pretty much a beast, 401 yards uh, last week. As the Nittany Lions are preparing to play a really tough team in the rain at that. So uh, we'll see how everything goes as we take a look at the entrance video. Good old Penn State sporting their good old home colors as, again, uh, 2-0 start for us as well. Onward State. Uh, music in this one wasn't as good as it was last week. And I think the next week's music I'll probably keep in there. Success with honor as James Castle looks ready to go in his coat and everything. As everybody looks cold and pretty much miserable in this type of weather. But we'll go ahead and kick off the game on the right foot. So Penn State gets the ball first. Jacob's looking to fake handoff to Roberts. And he's going to throw a right-hand side and find Morris. And Morris has the first down. Bill Morris already, already getting out to a good start. So now it'll be first and 10 as Jacobs will hand the ball with Roberts on a nice draw play. Roberts will go to right-hand side, bounce back up middle, and get a nice five-yard gain. He has 60 rushes, 348 yards, and two touchdowns on the season. So uh, not the most touchdown totals, but uh, he is getting it done on the ground. Uh, and it's doing uh, good work for us uh, at that. So now second and five for the Nittany Lions as Jacobs goes under center he will go ahead and drop back to pass and he will fire right hand side it's gonna be intercepted by bradley of the defense and ucf has the first turnover and turning point of this game as we've already turned the ball over on our third offensive possession so first and 10 for good old ucf as jones will fake the hand off the right and he's gonna fire left hand side he's gonna find white and white his fullback has a nice nine yard pickup so now it's gonna be second and one for the Knights, as Nittany Lions again, gave up on the third offensive play. I didn't mean possession. First possession, third offensive play as Jones hands the ball to right, and right will be set to the line for one yard. Lost his defense holding up on third uh, on second down. So now it'll be third and two for the Knights as Jones will drive out of pass. He's going to fire left-hand side. He's going to find Bray, and Bray has the first down. Big tight end getting the first down on a nice five-yard reception. So now it'll be first and ten for the Knights. As Jones goes under center, he will go ahead and draw back to pass. He's going to look. He's going to fire right-hand side. He's going to have his man sledge and sledges down to the two-yard line with an awesome last name like that. You would think he'd be pretty good. Actually, at the one-yard line, that was my bad. So now it'll be first and goal. Jones will hand the ball off the right, and right will scamper in the end zone. Touchdown UCF. They capitalize off the turnover uh, early in this game uh, by the Nittany Lions. So now second and 10 after an incomplete pass. Jacobs will draw back to pass. He's going to fire. Or left-hand side is going to be almost intercepted again. So that will bring up third and 10 now for the Nittany Lions. As Jacobs is in shotgun formation, looking to run a screenplay, he's going to fire left-hand side. going to be batted away, so they have to punt the ball away. So after a one-yard rush by right, it will be second and nine for the Knights on their second offensive possession. Jones will drive by the pass, and he will look. He's going to fire left-hand side. He's going to find his man, but it will be broken up. So now, so they will have to punt the ball away themselves. So now it will be fourth and nine on the punt. They bring out their punter, and he's going to go ahead and send it deep to our man Howell, who is back there. And uh, Howell is going to make it bounce off his helmet. It's going to be recovered by UCF. So that's a fumble on us. Now it'll be first and 10 in good field position for the Knights. As Jones will drop out of shotgun formation, he will drop back to pass. He's going to fire a left hand side. He's going to lob it. Got his man Robinson. And Robinson has a nice fit 16 yard pickup on the day uh, on the gain on that play so now it'll be first and 10 for the knights as jones will hand the ball off the right and right will go left hand side right will make a man miss he's gonna stiff on a man actually he's gonna get nine yards on that play after a nice big hit from our linebackers now it'll be second and one for the knights eye formation looking to hand the ball off it looks like as jones will hand the ball off the right and right will go right hand side and right will get the first down nice five yard pickup right there so now it'll be first and 10 inside the red zone for the knights as empty backfield for jones as he will go ahead and have i believe four wide receivers out actually so he will drop back to pass he's going to look and he's going to look and look deep right inside the field he's going to find hawkins and hawkins has 10 yards but they won't give it to him second and inches coming up for this defense hopefully they can stop him force a third down as jones goes under center and the knights looking to possibly capitalize jones is going to hand the ball to right and right will be set at the line and get a negative one yard loss now it'll be third and one for the Nittany Lion defense to stop this offense of the Knights. Third and one, Jones goes under center again. I formation going to hand the ball off the right. Right will go up the middle and get the first down four-yard rush on the place. So now after a uh, zero-yard rush will be second and goal for the Knights. As Jones will go ahead and drop out of pass. He's going to fire right-hand side. He's going to find his man sledge. Touchdown UCF. They go up 14 to nothing 
on the Nittany Lions in Happy Valley. So now second and eight after a two-yard reception. Jones is going to fake the handoff to Roberts, and he will look. Look, he's going to fire, find Dorch, and Dorch looks like he's got the first down, and they will give it to him. Eight-yard reception on that play. Great play and great play action by Jacobs to Dorch. So now Jacobs is going to hand the ball to Roberts. Roberts is going to go to the left-hand side, up the gut, and will scamper for the first down. Nice 12-yard pickup as he pushes a man uh, with that nice strength of his and gets the first down. So now shotgun formation. Jacob is going to fake the handoff to Roberts, and he will find Daniel, and Daniel has a big pickup. He is down past the 30-yard line, so 21-yard reception on that play. They're getting closer to the end zone on this drive. Good drive so far for the Nittany Lions as Jacob's going to hand the ball to Roberts, and Roberts is going to do a bunch of cuts, and he will get a nice pickup, about 14 on the play and the first down, so now will be second and seven after a three-yard rush. Jones is going to call an audible. Jacobs is going to call an audible. Sorry, he will drop back to pass. He's going to look. He's going to find Bowen. And Bowen will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. They cut the lead to seven. Great 10-yard reception by Bowen from Steve Jacobs, who has 52 yards passing. Four for eight on the day. And uh, we will get one more look as Bowen will basically beat his man. And he will be basically left wide open for the touchdown. He almost basically just walked into the end zone. So uh, cut the lead to seven. Great offensive possession for the Nittany Lions on that play as Jones brings the UCF Knights offense back onto the field. He will drop right a pass and he will look over the right-hand side, find White. And White has... 10-yard reception, but they will give it. To, they won't give him the actual first down. As Jones is eight of nine for 79 yards and a touchdown, and second and inches as Jones brings the troops to the line, he will hand the ball off the right, and right will get the first down for the Knights. So now after a zero-yard rush, it will be second and ten for the Knights. As Jones will set up in shotgun formation, he will go ahead and drop back to pass, and he will look. He's going to look. He's going to be sacked on the play by our end. I would believe that was. I believe I forgot what that guy's name is actually. Oh, it's uh let's see. I believe it's Bowen. I think no Fowler. Fowler got the uh sack on that play. So that was a nice eight yard loss on the previous play. So now it'll be third and eighteen for the Knights as Jones will drop by the pass. He's going to look. He's got fire deep down left inside the field. He's going to be intercepted by Caps with another interception of the year. And he will bring this one back to the forty four yard line. So great play. By our secondary, as it will be second and six after a four-yard rush. Jacobs will drop out of passing, going to fire to the right-hand side. He's got Dorch, and Dorch makes a main miss, and Dorch is open, and he will score the touchdown for Penn State Nittany Lions as they tie the game up here late in the half. As we will get another look at this Dorch touchdown. What a great play by Dorch as he makes his man miss. He dives for him, but he doesn't trip him up or anything. I'm surprised that he didn't get shoestringed there. But Dorch will scamper into the end zone, basically untouched. Great play by the Nittany Lions. Great play call uh, by James Castle on that one. So now it'll be third and ten after two incomplete passes for Jones and this Knights offense after giving up that score. Jones will drop out of pass. He's going to look. He's going to look. He's going to be basically pressured. And he will throw another interception. And Burns is the one that gets it this time. And Burns will bring this one back to about the 47-yard line. So now second and six after a four-yard rush. On the previous play, Jacobs is looking to go deep, and he will go ahead and call an audible on the inside of the field. He will drop back. He's going to fire left-hand side. He's going to his man, Dorch, and Dorch has the first down. Nice 11-yard pickup for him as Josh Roberts uh, gets another four-yard gain. So that will bring up second and six for us as Jacobs will fake the handoff to Roberts, and he will fire to the right-hand side, and he will find Morris as Roberts gets another two-yard Game on the play. Jacob to Morris was a great play. We're going to go ahead and pitch left with Roberts, and Roberts will go left hand side, and he will get nothing against his defense, only about one yard. So now it'll be third and seven for the Nittany Lion offense. As Jacobs will go ahead and drop back pass, and he will look. He's going to fire right hand side. He's going to find Daniel, and Daniel has a nice pickup, and we will go ahead and call a timeout. So we're going to go ahead and bring on EJ Bell for the point out for the, actually for the field goal attempt and he will put it through so the Nittany Lions have scored 17 straight and take the lead going into halftime so now being down by three Jones takes the field for the first time being down and Jones will drop out of heads he's going to look he's going to fire deep down the field he's going to find Robinson and Robinson has a huge pickup of about 24 on the play so now it'll be second and 10 after a zero yard rush on the previous play by Mike Wright Jones will go ahead and drop back the pass after making a fake attempt to drop the people off sides. He will find Hayward, and Hayward will get a nice pickup of about 17 on the play. So now it will be first and sorry, first and 10 after a three-yard rush will translate into second and seven for the Knights offense in pistol formation. Jones will go ahead and keep the handoff himself, and he will be met in the backfield by Davis. But hold on, everybody. There's that flag on the play. I think he may have gone off sides, and he did. 
as Davis, Joe Davis jumped off sides, so they would get the ball back. Uh, UCF will actually have, get five yards for free, so it'll be second and two for the Knights of UCF as Jones will hand the ball off the right, and right has a lot of room to the left-hand side, and right will be brought down about the nine-yard line. So now it'll be first and ten after that, night, after that ten-yard rush by right. Jones goes under center. And he will go ahead and hand the ball off the right on an offset eye formation, and he will get five yards. So now after a one-yard gain, it will be third and four for the for the Knights as this defense is looking to try to make a stop. And Jones will go ahead and drop back to passing. going to look over the middle. He's going to find Robinson, and they score. James Robinson with the touchdown puts the Knights up 21-17 to as Penn State comes back onto the field after a incomplete pass. And Roberts will get the ball, and he will get about – Three yards on the play, so now it'll be second and seven as Jacobs will go ahead and draw back to pass here. But he's going to actually fake the handoff to Roberts, and Jacobs is going to be sacked on the play. He loses seven. Steve Jacobs loses seven, so now that we have to punt the ball away as we take a look at the stats. Uh, 176 yards for our offense, but we have not, uh, we did not score uh, on that last possession. So now after a three-yard rush, it will be second and seven. Jones will fake the handoff. Actually, he will give the handoff to Wright, and Wright will get a nice pick of about five on the play. So uh, Central Florida is really moving the ball pretty well against this really good defense that we have. So now it will be third and two after that five-yard pickup. And Jones will go ahead and hand the ball off to Wright again. He will be stuffed at the line by Setzer, and they will have to punt the ball away. So now Jacobs will go ahead and hand the ball off to Roberts, and Roberts can go right inside. He got to cut back up middle, and he will get a nice pick of about 12 on the play right there as the third quarter comes to an end. And after an incomplete pass, it will be second and 10 for the Lions as Jacobs will hand the ball off to Roberts, and Roberts will be met in the backfield for a one-yard loss. So third and 11, this is a crucial third down for this Nittany Lion offense as Good old Jacobs is going to fake the handoff to Roberts, and he will look. He's going to fire deep over the field. He's got Daniel, and Daniel has a nice 18-yard pickup and the first down for this Nittany line offense. That was a crucial play for this series as Jacobs will go ahead and hand the ball off to Roberts. Again, Roberts will go left-hand side, bounce right back up the middle, and he will get a first down on a nice 10-yard pickup. So now... First and 10 for the Nittany Lions. Jacobs is going to hand the ball off to Roberts again. Roberts will go right-hand side, get some nice blocking, and he will get a nice pick of about seven on the play. So now second and three, moving the ball pretty effectively right now against this Central Florida defense, which is pretty good. Jacobs will hand the ball off to Roberts again. Roberts will go up the gut, and Roberts gets the right amount of yards but doesn't get the first down. First down so now it will be third and inches as we bring in A.J. Randall, and Randall will get the ball, and he will go left-hand side, and Randall gets down to about the three-yard line. So now first and goal for the Nittany Lions as Jacobs is going to hand the ball off to uh, A.J. Randall as he switches the play and we get a nice block from the fullback Weber. And we're in for the touchdown as Penn State takes a three-point lead midway through the third quarter. Uh, sorry, fourth quarter. As a great play, great rushing, great play call all around. Great calling by that offensive ser- in that offensive series. So now after a four-yard rush, it will be second and six for the Knights as Wright gets a nice pick of about three on the play. So now it'll be second, uh, sorry, third and three as Jones goes under center. He will go ahead and hand the ball off to Wright again. Wright will make a man miss, make another man miss, make a third man miss, and he will be finally brought down after making breaking three tackles, for. but he gets 18 yards. So they, that was a crucial third down play that we really needed to keep this lead uh, and keep the ball basically at the end of the game. But Jones will go ahead and drop out of passing a far left inside and find Pitts and Pitts, Chad Pitts gets the first down, 13-yard reception. So now first and 10 for the Knights. They are driving uh, late in this ball game as Jones will drive out of passing. He's going to look. He's going to fire right-hand side. He's going to got his man Hayward, and Hayward only gets about five on the play, but it's a good, great defensive stance right there as the second down play is incomplete, so that will bring up third and five for the Knights of Central Florida. Jones will drop out a pass, empty backfield. He will look right hand side, lobs it for Sledge. Sledge brings it in, and Sledge has the first down as they are three for three in the red zone currently. And so, first and 10 for the Knights as Jones goes under center. He will hand the ball off the right, and right will be stuffed at the line. Should have got, lost a couple yards, but they didn't give it, they didn't give us the non yardage pickup uh, or the negative yardage pickup so it'll be second and 10 as Wright gets the ball again he barrels ahead and gets three so that'll bring up third and seven as they call their second timeout of the half 
So Jones will be in shotgun formation as he hands the ball with the right on the draw play, trying to catch catch the defense off the guard, but we do not get caught off guard as we try to ice the kicker, but they have the anti-freeze. Fourth and five, they will try to tie this ball game up with 45, 44 seconds left in the game. The kick is up, and the kick is good. So tie ball game with 41 seconds left in the clock. We will get the ball back on the ensuing kickoff. A.J. Randall will get the ball. He will go right-hand side, and he will break down the sidelines. A.J. Randall is broken free. He's about cross the ball to the 45-yard line. He will tackle to the 46. So now first and 10 for the Nittany Lions in prime position to win this ball game. Jacob's going to hand the ball off to Roberts. And Roberts will get a nice pickup of about three yards. Tough three yardage right there as we run no huddle. And Jacobs will go ahead and call four verticals. He will drop out of pass. He's going to fire deep. Down right inside the field. He's going to Bowen. And Bowen's out across the 24-yard line. So first and 10 with 12 seconds left on the clock. And the clock is ticking down at 8. Seven. Jacobs is going to hand the ball off to Roberts. Roberts will go left hand side, and Roberts will be brought down about the 12 yard line. So now we'll call a timeout as they try to ice EJ Bell. So here it is, boys and girls. Fourth quarter, three seconds left, second and two as we bring on the field goal unit. And EJ Bell trying to win this ball game for us. The kick is up. The kick looks long enough, and the kick is good. Penn State beats the Knights. And the last second field goal, 27 to 24. As we get another slow motion look at this through the rain and the slop. And we take this one at home, our home opener. And uh, what a play by EJ Bell. What a kick as they tried to ice us, and the icing did not work. And again, your final score is going to be 27 to 24. Uh, what a great game by the Nittany Lions to come back as Steve Jacobs is your player of the game, 10 for 16, 175 yards and two touchdowns and an interception. Three consecutive wins for us as the Nittany Lions turn their attention to Kent State. Uh, we were down by 14, came back. They allowed 27 points, and we only allowed 10 since they took it, went up for, uh, 14 to nothing. Turning our attention to Kent State, who just came off a win against LSU. Uh, as we can see, their passing defense is not as good. Their defense is not as good as ours. Their passing offense is 54th in the nation. Uh, but their total defense is, is 10 better than ours. They get 358 yards per game as we look at our no injuries. We've won three in a row. Uh, great games so far. They've won one on regional. Uh, but if you look at their strong safety and their center back, or certain, well, not center back, their center is out uh, for injury for nine weeks. Uh, as we look at their schedule, they lost by, they scored 14 in their first two losses, but then they upset LSU. In L at Death Valley, 26 to 23 in overtime. So a big win for the Kent State. They knock off the Tigers, but they turn our their attention to the three and O Nittany Lions. As we look at Steve Jacobs, who has nine touchdowns and th two interceptions, and Caps. I think the most important statistic right there is Caps with three interceptions. He's really helped us out as uh as really a, a leader. So uh, next time, guys, we will take on the Kent State Golden Flashers in episode four. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.